So this also includes diversification and expansion. Let us say a powder or a product or a mineral water. I am competing with that product which is manufactured by MNC. You should build the kind of infrastructure to be able to address that market, absolute service, and then assist customers, maybe with a very decisive, decisive decision of reduced margin, bring about satisfaction and market expansion. So that's a uh, strategy we are adopting, we are growing. So that's the way of pouring into oil market. In fact, we have uh, uh, formed a company in Brazil. We are uh, going to have an assembly plant in Brazil, which is going to address the entire South African market, South American market side. We have already opened an outsourcing office in China, and we wanted to sell in China, procure in China. We have a global warehouse in Malaysia, where we are buying the parts, stocking it there. It will be sent to all 55 countries where we are exporting. It will also come to India by OEM. And we are now currently pursuing the task of setting up an office in Malaysia, sorry, Indonesia, and this is going to be a big opportunity because we are to India. We already got 300 crores of export order from Indonesia. And this is a big market which you wanted to go. In order to become global, you need to become local. So we are trying to have a local presence, then we can seize the market. That's the strategy that we are trying to do. That's the one of the way of becoming globalizing of this thing. Friends, I would like to only say, if you need to transform, achieve, and bring about what you want to, uh, I mean, uh, ultimately reach, is to build your teams. I mean, the, this, is, this is the basic. How do you build your team? <coughs> you need to build your team that each executive under you must develop a second line or a third line. When he is not there, the second line fellow must be asked to take over. When somebody goes on leave, in fact, many of the places if you see, the boss goes on leave, the productivity goes up. Because the new fellow down the line, he wants to show this opportunity when he is not there, I can do better. I can drive. Uh, it's a fact. 50% of the time, by experience, if the bosses who are negative, the bosses who are not uh, people oriented, the bosses who are not work to do whatever kind of a day, the guy is not there, the subordinate who is a very go getter can improve productivity, can go. So it's an opportunity for him to act, officiate, self care, uh, I mean, uh, get self confidence and move around. Secondly, you need to develop decisively the kind of a managing your boss. See, managing subordinate is easier. Managing peers is difficult. But managing the boss is an impossible thing. I have always been uh, uh, adopting a strategy. I used to go, in fact, I, I remember, I, used, I was working for a blue star in the region. I used to report to uh, uh, one Mr. Rekupati. Very negative guy, very tough guy. People used to, used to be scared to enter his office. So he wrote in my CR, in the private sector, there is a question, there is a practice of you write your CR and ask you for discussions. He wrote, Nadarajan and makes tall promises. So I said, okay, I want a time. So give me a time in the evening. Maybe we'll sit in the club or we'll sit in your room, but I want one hour. So he gave me a time after one week or something. So I took him through what I have done for the last three years. And I, and I, I told him that you are. Uh, your uh, recording is unfounded, maybe out of uh, out of focus reading you made, and ultimately he said he wrote that even tall promises are kept up by your My my thing is the impossible thing in the world is to manage the boss. I would like to give you a technique. I used to always go to my boss and ask him, sir, don't appreciate me. Tell me what is the negative part. I want to improve myself. I am not you know, looking for uh, prices. I am not looking for you know, padding at the back. I know what is my plus point, more or less. Because you know, when you look at a jewelry window, understand the self, understand others, but the part that is not known to you, you must ask for. So always ask for negative feedback. And then positively, don't you know, get the box down on the floor, you are not looking nice, you are not figuring well. Ask yourself, tell me what I, do, what I should do. Now, you are great. And I want to become great in the, the letter test. Tell me what is my minus point and tell me how I overcome. I overcome. Consciously try and do that. I think you will Friends, so this building thing is very, very important. Managing boss is very important. Many a time I used to go to the boss and say, Sir, this is difficult, this job is difficult for you. Can you give me my help? That's what Mr. Sastri said. When they wanted to close down a business, I said, I think you give me my help. He asked everybody else. Nobody was coming for that. I was HR man, he was assistant, and I said, Sir, give it to me, I'll do it. And I think I got a President Award for ECIT. Thank you. <laughs> 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 a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work.
about lot of design. Like high end division, ECIT was a very kind of keeping ECI and IT together. ECI. So the brand name today doing business for ECI. So this, this nothing comes out as I said, pens taking always brings pride for you. Friends, then I'll talk about strategic and please don't get me wrong. I am not here before you as a camera of ECI, I mean DML. I am not here before you to boost, to build my image. I am here before you to spending my precious time out of the business in order to see whether my experience can build one among you as a CEO of the world. And therefore, if you want to become a somebody, set your goal with a time frame. When I was a personal executive, way back in 76, I used to think before 40 I want to become a personal manager. I become personal manager in 30s. And at that time I thought I become general manager vice president in 35, I become 38, I, uh, before 40s, I became 38. And when I looked at it, I said, no, 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 I'm very excited if I continue, I learned an opportunity to become a CEO. So I lost my salary almost close to about 70,000 rupees. I came for 24,000 rupees of salary as a general manager in this area. I know I'll become a director, I'll make it to see. And it happened, friends, I think I am one of the youngest CEO of this country having a 10 year career. I got five years, five years of the extension now, I am running for the first year, I have another thing, four years. The point I am trying to say is, you need to have a goal. When we talk about career goal, personal goal, we talk about career dream. You know, in a full of art, you find a lot of yokes coming in. Each one represents the surrounding that we are in. One represents the family, one represents the friends. The other one represents the kind of a society in which we are living. Other one represents subordinates. Other one represents the boss, the peers. If you don't know how to manage all these guys, they will kill you. There will be a wife who can be negative. There will be a boss who can be negative. Subordinate who is not cooperating. If you don't know how to manage all these guys, the speed at which that you want to run the pull card will not run. And you will get, there are some people who have already got out of career. Some people who have remained at the in, in a study that is done among the Graduates, MBA graduates or engineering graduates found out one among 20 become general managers. That one guy is that guy who knows how to manage his career team. I manage everybody, but I still I come out with flying colors. So you learn to come out with your career goals, with the time frame, work for it, build your efficiency, develop your self competency. I am sure you will be also delivering this kind of lecture one day, saying that this is how I come up, you also come up using your skills. <laughs> When it comes to building vision for the company, you need to understand where are we? What is my financial capability? What is my marketing network? What is the kind of core competency? In a synergy having, I try to expand. You expand existing product, you find a new market for existing product, then you look at a new product for existing market, you look at a new product for the new product. Then your business grows, that's expansion. If there is a new product coming in, then go for a diversification. So we went in for a lot of diversity. We published growing is purely because we expanded the new business. We went into e-engineering. We have got into trading. We got into expanding the product. You have seen underground. You have seen metro. So diversification, related business. Now so metro is going to be today. Friends, when I took over BML, the right business was nil. When I went to the shop floor and asked them, "Are you guys this sir? Don't come and talk to me, sir. Get the other and come and talk to me, sir." Today. Thanks to you, we have 3,000 crores ordered in rain and with Bangalore coming in, it will be exceeding 4,000. The order portion of the company is going to cross 6,000 crores by the time the turn of the year, the 31st March comes out. Enterprise direction. You need to look at which direction the enterprise has to go today, which is going today, what direction I need to take, the organization forward. Friends, I would only say, when it comes to, next, I introduced here, I want to introduce the ECI, I said we'll come and yeah, all the executives coming for promotions, you make a presentation. We first time in 2001-2002, we promoted juniors, men and general managers, men and senior, senior to report to me. I said this will happen to everybody. I don't care about seniority, I want performance. I said you perform, you will get less discriminated based on long age, religion, color, whatever. Only efficiency matters. Now people started running. When people started running, we supported them. We created a uh, business-wise organization, we also created a product heads, we created SBU heads, we gave them powers. I said, you support, we will help you. Even if we make a mistake, I made a statement to everybody, execute this particularly. 
This is a company executive driven. I trust you. And I support you. Even if they make a mistake, I support you. As long as you work in the organization. Take decisions. I support that. And I told the unions, look, the officers are the people who are going to get the things done. You don't come with a complaint. Or the officers, the workers have to cooperate. People used to work for 400 friends, 300 hours. Now today we are demanding continuously measurable the revised work norms. When did the uh, standard manner was increased, every time we give money, they ask for something. So today they are working for 600 hours. We were having over 3,500 employees, 13,500 employees, we kept 12,000. The 12,000 followers have doubled the turnover. The that speaks volumes of what we are doing. So you continuously set your site on demanding performance, it will happen. Now union is saying, sir, previously they are not demanded, I have not done it, but today they are demanding their gifts, sir. We are also, another thing is secret of success is demand performance, but reward will be lost for it. You should not be my sir, you should not be my sir. I am sorry, some companies are here. You can't count money when it comes to rewarding. This guy has struggled, give you a profit and give you more than what he expects. We have always done that. So there is a trust. This management is asking for more, but they will reward me without asking for more than what I expect. So it's happened, other things have happened. So that is the kind of trust that was built up in the team. Then there will be the rise and rise, and only upward movement, no down movement. Friends, next. The, lastly, I would like, before I put the uh, wind up, I would like to say, <coughs> in fact, with regard to the previous point, the Gary Gaspro, who is Gary Gaspro? Yes. He has written an article saying, every time I go before a chess uh, opponent, and when I see his game, how he is doing, it pains me, I cannot follow a similar pattern which I followed for previous game. Every time I go into the chess board for the, I have changed my strategy, my challenge, my pattern, and it becomes a big affluent task to me. So every win is by giving a new birth of a generation. So like this, every, every decision that you take, every uh, success of an uh, order that you take, exercise, every, every new decision that you get into research is a challenge. So the performance is out of lot of patterns which are I mean, not a similar decision, different decision, just take you whatever, whatever, whatever. Now, friends, coming to the leadership direction, I would only like to say, I think some of you must have read the book called Who Says the Elephants Cannot Dance? By, by Carl, uh, I mean, Louis Tristan uh, Jr., who was the former IBM champion. He came from outside, like me. When you come from outside, you have advantage of not looking at faces. You are not obligated to anybody, you can demand. But if you are a guy who has grown from within, yesterday you were having a spoke with somebody, having a beer with somebody, you can't today become a boss and say, but again you will do, can't say. Because a friendship holds you back. But I think it is very few managers who can just shake them up and say, look, you are a CEO, you are no more a friend. Friendship outside, the, the professorship inside. So you need to make out very, very clearly, yes, I want the leader has to look at demand performance. Do what I would say. Now ultimately, I would like to say, Carol Gasper came. At that time, the IBM was going down. He did a lot of things innovative you, and then he took the company out. What was happening? In fact, people used to say the value migration, the value destruction for value creation. It means I have a product which has been optimized on account of research with the technological absorptions. And when product becomes technologically absorption, nobody will buy it for me. My profit share will go down. Maybe I'll close to it. So IBM was thinking that, you know, uh, I will remain in mainframe, I don't go for PCs. He said, Going for PC, in fact, used to say ECL, when somebody went for software, ECL is a uh, uh, house band, I was going for software in those days. No, 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 going for outsourcing is like a prostitution, I will not go. But I, the Wipros and the Infosys have become world leaders, now they are looking at the corner after that. It's a strategic mistake. You have, there was no leader who could take the decision. Somebody took the decision and he became a world leader. He created billionaires and millionaires, whatever. And therefore, the, the, the idea is he meant that. Look at the G's words. Now, today they have built an R&D center in this name. They are living leaders who have created for the organization. So it's a leader who matters. Who does not look at his convenience? I would always say, friends, the person who wants to build a clock never watches a clock. So no, don't bear watches. You are coming into the organization, deliver the goods and go back. What I do, it's a great advantage. Everybody is addressing that, you know, why value airport is very high, very, very long distance, one of ours. Move at the airport, whenever I, I used to have a old airport, 
I used to give my office or my house after that boring announcement in 10 minutes. After boring announcement, I will go to somebody with a ticket, I will go. Now, the moment that the airport was announced, I said, look, all my files will come to my door. So when I get up at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, I have a personal policy. I will not go next day morning to see the file. I will finish the file in 7 o'clock and see the car. Next day morning, I will start the day with up to 1 o'clock or 12 o'clock. What is the development work I can do? I don't know what your maintenance manager, I don't know your government. If you want me to do what I am doing, I am not interested. I will do development work. So morning is the best time to plan. Development work. Every day you go in, do some development to come out. At the end of the year, you will see a lot of values in the world. You create values, create by yourself. Well, that is the organization. Then it becomes a kind of a leader. You will be not a leader. Somebody said, who is a leader? The leader is one who is dynamic, who is risk-taking, confident, of course, who is a decision maker, and who makes the organization to function better, achieve the targets much higher than the competitor when the market knows the play the downtrend. In the downtrend, if any CEO can take this organization, achieve the target that has been set, you can call him a leader, all others are part of this. And therefore, friends, you need to set that kind of a trend of a leadership dynamism. And then somebody says, one brave man can make majority. And therefore, one leader can make organization to perform. So I would like to say, and yeah. I think uh, uh, I would not uh, talk about anything much more than that. I would only like to say, as the column said, we are winding up. In this book, you know, The Wings of Fire. If you want to make a mark in the sands of time, don't drag your feet. So you must be the man who is in the front to fight for it. You should not have somebody giving directions. And in our, in our initiation, particularly when you want to become a leader, you need to be a guy who carries everybody. In fact, somebody said, when you look at the three skills are important for a successful man. One is a technical, higher technical skill. The second is leadership skill. The third is human leadership skill. The relationship building or human management is always constant. There is a technical skill, lower level, you are doing 80% of technical work. When you become a leader, you will become 5%. You don't need a solution. That's why you talk about the experience, expertise, and visionary. Who can make a visionary statement in a diverse the gone to the windmill in 30 years? So you can say what has to happen, what will happen. And therefore, you need to develop this leadership skill out of your technical skill, out of your, uh, your experience, and then build businesses, build subordinates, build the uh, organization. And I think you will become a leader which the country notices, the, the global uh, the global take notice of. And, and I can only tell you by when saying this, as far as uh, uh, we are concerned, we need to be transparent in our approach. You can't play games when it comes to business. We need to communicate and share what you want. We have Send every letter that I write in my newsletter to the employees, what we are doing, what we are going to do, what is happening, sharing, thanking them. And I always give the entire credit if somebody is doing it because of the national government. Communicate. I can tell you, friends, we have built confidence in our people. Tomorrow I quit the organization, still being able to do my position. That is the kind of a subordinate build up that you need to do, share your mission. And I would say, trust people, bring about a organizational transformation at the end of the day, that's what you want to do. And I would only like to say, never trust yourself under pressure. Never think your team is best. Always have a, uh, friends outside the system, friends and outside the system, unknowingly, knowingly, trust them. I'm going to do, do it in care. I'm right. I'm going to do this project. In formally, informally, check with somebody so that you know you check against the, uh, the gadgets. Some students will come. And this will help us a great deal. Because we are working for the organization and the somebody else will have the no right to cost us. Friends, I would only like to say organization transformations can be passed out provided you are confident. You are informed of yourself. And you build the confidence in your subordinates, looking at the entire thing, then everybody will run with the including government and the board. And I think you will be successful right after that. As far as I am concerned, I would say there is no word called fiasco in the dictionary. It's only degree of success. I wish you 100% success in your life. I would like you to take, take you through this experience. Try and see how you build the organization in the process to build your career. Become a successful CEO. Wish you to be like that.
Madam Farhan, we can have two very brief questions. They should not be answered in any way because we don't have much time. Two very brief questions. He is debating on the mining and construction as well. A constitutional matter. As the international mineral prices in the Kenya, I have great medals and medals. So they are lowering their production also. So how do you cover up this one? Very important. Thank you. 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 So I will be, people will be standing in queues to buy equipment from me. It will only rise in one point. Excuse me, this portfolio. They were the directors of public enterprises. And investment in the enterprise is about 500,000 crores. Uh, we have immense experience here. And I would request that one of them would like to ask a uh, question. Anybody from our board program? But, uh, seeing as the <coughs> what we are seeing uh, in function of boards in public sector, you know, most of the time it is not board driven, it is uh, CEO centric. <coughs> uh, what type of intervention is uh, required to make it uh, more board centric than the CEO centric? Yeah, but I hope to talk by a company. You don't have to speak, but you can make others speak what you are supposed You can shoot down. And you can't challenge the CEO openly, but you can do it in an indirect way. And also have a courage to walk up to your CEO saying, Sir, in your interest I am telling you, you know, this one is going to be in my view. Take it or leave it, but it's up to you. Just this start thinking. I think you can do both. It's my view. I have done this. And uh, I met once Mr. Natarajan when he was the lecture. I thought it was like Natarajan Gita. Is Gita. The sutras which he has given us, they should all be written down, repeated again and again. Because he has conceptualized the total management knowledge for us. And it is great everything which he has told us. It should be the lecture is transformation and not in the BML. It is transformation for all of us. So please, we are very grateful to you. For lifetime experience, he is not talking in the sky, he was on the ground. All the practical points and tips and hints which he has given to us are of real great value. So I am only expressing my views and on your behalf I feel he deserves this standing ovation. And you are proud of that, you have to be in urban I And we told that we are very lucky that we are in the first form, Mangrove, and that we are in Mangrove, Krishna, there. And uh, also, Gita, we told, Dhanu Chete, Yudh Chete, Samyuta, Yudh Chete, we were all fighting the war, but what Mr. Natarajan has told today, we have to be victorious. And in all earnestness, in righteousness, winning the war through ethics, this war to modernity, we need to to hard work. I think that part has come out. And sir, I would like to say, Mr. Natarajan doesn't believe in emotion, but he believes in motion. He doesn't believe in division, but he believes in vision. So can we do any more problem with our country today? All of us is that can we become uh, a person in motion, not in motion? We have too much of emotion. We have too much of emotion. So he's from HIV. This problem of personal enterprise is what requires this country and what Mr. Kalam told me. We need motion, we don't need revision. And especially sir, when you are here and you don't care that we send our colleagues to academic institutions. Academic institutions are part of the right of only revising, revising. But what requires more revision? But as you have told, we require revision, which you have had. I think what was the plan told you all uh, have been, uh, our work has been charged. And that was Mr. Uh, we saw the two public sector jails who come here and address us. Do you know what the reward they get compared to the private sector? Nothing. It is. So my friends who know, we were all and me who got it together. For the second pay gravity, we know when we made a comparison between the two. What all the get is only awards. So Mr. Natural got so many awards which I said and said I will tell you at the end. He got the award of Individual Fellowship of Indian Institute of Production Engineers 
outstanding contribution to production and production in June 2006. Come what? Outstanding Chief Executive Award for the year 2005 by the National Council of Indian Institute of Indian Industry Engineering in September 2006, awarded Golden Peak Innovation Management Award for the year 2006 at Calcutta during 2006 by the Institute of Directors. That is, there are many. So we only say that we are all limited. So we are going to have our student members are going to grow much more than this. By the next year, when you come here, you want to have a bigger auditorium and let it be able to answer. Thank you. Thank you. Now I request the participants to their workshop to proceed for lunch. Dr. Lakshmi and Dr. Peter will accompany them. 